hey, hey, hi everybody, it's Christina, and I'm going to show you a few things that I've been working on, not too much, but I have been looking at a few YouTubes, and um, people are making memory decks cards, whether they're uh, swapping them or making them for themselves, and I thought I would give it a try, because I got this in Happy Mail a long time ago. And this die is called Address Book, but you can still use the die as a um, memory dex card. This memory dex is four by two and a half. Some of the YouTubes I've been um, watching, they are four by four. So what I did is I ran this through my cutting machine just for the top, like I didn't run it all the way through, I ran it to about here, and then I ran it back again, um, and then I just cut the rest so I would have four inches, and then I ran the bottom through so I could get the um, holes, so it could go into your memory decks, um, the, the trowels, or some people using straws. Um, so, there is my die that I used. I used all, oh, let's see, there's two of them in here. I'll show you. There's this one and this one. So the tab is in the middle and on the side. And then it comes with these different types of tabs. And I made four, no, I made three mem memory decks cards. And I also made an envelope to go with it. And I used my envelope punch board just to make this envelope, added some buttons and some twine to secure it. So the first layout or the first card I made is a farm girl scene and this is by October afternoon. I've got farm girl uh, pattern paper and some embellishments and this is the, this tab here. That's the one I used for the top. And that's the back. Then the second card is this one here. And that's the back. And I added some flowers, a doily in the background, a little ticket. And then I made these. I've made these little clipboards from cardboard. And I've used them in... Uh, the pocket pocket letters to insert in the pocket letters and I got that idea from a pocket letter that was sent to me by Tina Hales so I thought why not do it again and just attach it to the front of the card and I put a little charm here that says blessed and then the third one is this one here and here's a, a girl she's just hanging out in her jeans and her cat looks like she's got a picture of her cat there suitcase uh, let's see that looks like that's a an envelope pencil postcard especially for you postcard stamp and summertime memories and that's the back and this is a stamp set that I just recently um, purchased and got from Aliexpress and that is this one right here so I stamped her and colored her in. I also stamped the images, colored them, and then cut them out and used them on the card. And then I got another stamp set as well from AliExpress. It's this one here. They're both from the same buyer, or both from the same seller. I will leave a link below to where I purchased these on AliExpress. I'll, I'll link them to uh, her store. And is this one Darling? And I stamped and colored her somewhere. Oh, here it is. And then those are the sentiments. Comes with the bird. And then these little, two little flowers. Only thing it doesn't have, see how this here, it's got, it shows its music sheet paper. Well, when it stamps, it stamps blank. So there is no... Um, music sheet paper in there, so I just did some little squiggles. So I thought they were really cute. And that's it. That's really all I've been working on. It's so, I'm so busy with work right now, but it's also actually, actually 
so pretty and hot and sunny and gorgeous outside. It's hard to come into my craft room after work. All I want to do is change into, you know, shorts and a t-shirt or a summer dress and go outside uh, to the lake and hang out in the nice hot weather. I'm going to quickly go through my recipe book here, my Traveler's Notebook Recipes. I haven't done a whole lot in this since I showed it to you last. Um, I may have added a few little snippets here and there. Like here, I didn't do anything here. I mean, I'm not, I'm trying to stay away from chocolate. I haven't done anything with chocolate, but I found this in a magazine. Chocolate may make you smarter. So heck, maybe I'm gonna start eating chocolate again. Uh, this page is, I put all kinds of different smoothie recipes and I, here's a new one that I added. I think I drink a uh, green smoothie just about every day. Um, I added this page here with the vellum corner pocket, lemon walnut tea loaf. This was Easter time and I like making this uh, bread, it's in the bread maker, multi grain loaf. This is apple pie. I love making apple pie. Um, and I'd like to try different kinds. So here's one of them. And then this is good. I got this out of a magazine. Uh, pies can be fattening, right? Lots of sugar to sweeten up the berries. And then um, even, the, even the crust can be fattening. So it just gives you a little alternatives here. So... I like to add things in here. And you know what? This book has been in my kitchen. It seems to sit on the kitchen counter because I'm always going back to it and, and reading something or making one of the little recipes in here. Um, this is good too here. Here's a quick healthy dessert for late night nosh that doesn't make you feel bloated the next morning. And if you, any of you guys are like me, I love snacking at night. So um, I buy... Uh, at Costco, it's a bag full of uh, different frozen fruit, and I just uh, throw that into a blender, and I add a little bit of yogurt. Here it says add some honey. Um, I probably add a little bit of water so it mixes better, and that's a nighttime snack that, you know, is guilt-free. And here's some information about kale. I like kale, but um, it can be bitter, but once you start... Um, like rubbing it or massaging it, it seems to soften up and it um, almost, it tastes wonderful. It sort of sweetens it up. So a little info about kale I put there. I love making this. This is one of Mark's favorite meals. And just things I snip out of magazines and I like to add them here. Um, I like to make my own little concoction of olive oil and a little bit of moisturizer and voila! You have your own homemade uh, moisturizer for your cuticles and your nails. Here I'm going to put a picture of the soup. And that's all. That's all I'm, you know, I'm kind of, it, it's always a work in progress, this little book. But I haven't done too much to it lately. Alright, see? Short video. Um, and we'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.